Hello and welcome back to our most watched series GMAT Friday. This is Abhishek Day, your quant mentor from IMS International. In this series, we discuss a question every Friday. The question can either be from the verbal section, from the DI section or from the quant section. Today, I am here with a quant question. Here is the question in front of you. As always, pause the video, give it a try and then resume to see the solution. I hope you were able to solve this question. If not, let's try and solve this question together. What is the product of all the solutions of this particular equation? So we have to first find the solutions and then just multiply them to get the answer. In this equation, we have something that is mod. So let's discuss mod first. So what is mod of A? So mod of A is defined as A if A is greater than or equal to 0 and minus of A if A is less than 0. On the same line, I can say that mod of x plus 2 will also be defined in two different ways. One is x plus 2 when? When x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0 and minus of x plus 2 if x plus 2 is less than 0. That means mod of x plus 2 is equal to x plus 2 if x is greater than or equal to minus 2 or minus of x plus 2 if x is less than minus 2. So I have two different cases to deal with. Let's start. So x plus 2 raised to the power 2 is equal to x plus 2 if x is greater than or equal to minus 2. In the second case is x plus 2 raised to the power 2 is equal to minus of x plus 2 if x is less than minus 2. Let's take everything to the left hand side and minus x plus 2 is equal to 0. I can take x plus 2 in common from both the terms and I will be left with x plus 2 from the first term and minus of 1 from the second term. So now x plus 2 times x plus 1 is 0. Product of two number is 0 that means at least one of them is 0. That means either x plus 2 is equal to 0 or x plus 1 is equal to 0. When x plus 2 is 0, x is equal to minus 2. When x plus 1 is 0, x is equal to minus 1. So I get two different values of x in this case, that is case 1. First one is minus 1, the next one is minus 2. Let's go ahead and discuss the next case. In this case, again I have x plus 2 raised to the power 2 plus x plus 2 is equal to 0. That means again I can take x plus 2 in common and I will be left with x plus 2 from the first term and then plus of 1 from the second one. After solving, I will get x plus 2 times x plus 3 is again 0. Again, product of two number is 0. That means at least one of them is 0. Either x plus 2 is 0 or x plus 3 is 0. When x plus 2 is 0, x is equal to minus 2. When x plus 3 is 0, x is equal to minus 3. But x is strictly less than minus 2. That means x cannot be minus 2. In this case, in the second case, I just get one value for x. That is minus 3. So all the values that I got for, my, for x is minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3. Product of all these values are going to be that is minus 6. So option A is the correct answer. I hope you were able to understand the solution. If that's true, don't forget to share it with your friends, like our video and subscribe our channel for more such insights. Till then, bye-bye.